anyone nearby? Can I get some help? Lugging around a body? I promise it's not as dark as it sounds! Of course, those two. Uh, what the hells? Why are you both here? I thought you might need some help. I saw your training outside. I kinda just wanted to talk to you, but I'm more than happy to help. Ah, uh, yeah. Um, okay. Would you two mind helping me get her to one of the spare rooms? I think she needs to sleep after the whole training thing. I'm pretty sure Croc nearly killed her. We would be glad to help you, Belinda. I don't believe you have any right to speak to her so familiarly. What? Why not? Oh, okay. Not right now. Help me, please. I can walk on my own. I don't need three people to get to a room. Well, at least lean on my shoulder. I know your situation is a bit different, but I've known a similar state after a night of drinking. I'm sure you're intimately familiar with the state. <laughs> Hardly. Do you think I would be in such excellent shape were I to be a booze hound? Sure. Any amount of calories can be burnt if you're not doing anything useful and just spending all your time exercising. Calories? <laughs> you don't even know what calories are. Can you even read? Do you know what a book is? In his defense, I only just recently learned about calories. I don't think it's common knowledge here. Oh. It's a unit of measurement of the amount of energy in a piece of food. So what? Does alcohol have a lot of these calorie units? Um, yeah, so does cake and... Can we not discuss food right now? Sorry. I apologize. It's okay. I understand you're trying to slight me in front of the lady we both pursue. I... I won't surrender to you just because you're better looking. I'm... what? I will have you know I am being paid to pursue the lady, so you can both step back in line. Particular tickling your fancy? That would be a hilarious twist. <sighs> I'm just groveling in the back that I have two boys after me. And a girl? I think she was just joking. A lie is most easily believed when it is heard by ears that want to hear it. Very poetic. I took lessons. Oh, shut up! Look. Even if that's true, that's not a bad thing. I went from zero romantic prospects to three. How's that a bad thing? I don't believe we said it was. Though I believe it is common practice in your culture to only pick one. Well, maybe. But it's a nice ego boost. I'm very glad to hear your ego is growing. Now, on to the matter at hand. What matter? The changeling. Huh? What? Tara left. No, the other changeling. Uh, there's a... another one? It may be Vrace. 
Vreyas? It could be anyone. Anyone? But it's probably the Priamos or Oakland. You all. Good morning. I feel it is unnecessary to say it, but in case you're fuzzy, we didn't do anything. Not that either of us were drunk on anything, besides a lack of sleep. Not that it would have been a problem if we had. We're two willing men in the civilian world. But I found it refreshing for a relationship to start with a conversation rather than a night in the sack. And don't you go denying we've got something forming between us. I mean, even if you aren't sure about it, it's not like there are other eligible bachelors. Or at least I hope you don't deny it. You're way too old for most of the students, and I happen to know for a fact that the few who are attending outside of the normal age range are not of similar propensity. Take some time to think about it. He's all yours. <laughs> it was so cold, and there was so much screaming. I think I'm going to just walk home. At a loss for words, are we? Mr. Sword, sir, I think he can't talk. Look at his throat, sir. What happened to you? Looks like someone turned your neck into sausage. Some question, I realize, needs to be yes or no. That was the work of the monster you have here, wasn't it? Well, that's not good. Couldn't you have healed it? So we're dealing with something very dangerous. I think for now. This will be my new home of operations. Preston, I hope you like the decor. I'll need you to work as a guard here for the time being. But, Mr. Sword, I have... I mean, I have my shifts at the palace. You can do those too! So he teleported the guard? I'm not so hard up on mana. I can't walk a single person a few leagues and back. Oh, no. Don't worry, Preston. It'll be fun. Interesting. Oh shit.
Sir, sorry I'm late. What do you mean? Another boy already replaced me. But sir, I had afternoon duty today. Dun dun. Is talking. Oh, it's me, Elfnod. <coughs> I found this magical sword that allows me to talk, and I'm here to say you are a very sexy man, and I want to bang you like a drum. <laughs> of course, sword would say that. Of course. Voicing my inner thoughts! I better not think about the sexy god man naked! Sword, you're an asshole. That was entirely new! It was only a little prank! Hello, I am Saul, and the young man cowering on the ground over there is Preston. He just walked for his first time and hasn't taken it well. Then you're not... Oh, I suspect I was voicing our mutual friend's inner thoughts. But I don't imagine he'd be half as crass even were we to drill down to his lizard brain. Lizard brain? Oh, my apologies! Sometimes I forget what era I'm in. Mm -hmm. Anyway, it's a pleasure to meet you. Vosco. Vosco Dismas. You know, it's actually the second time we've met. You... You were with the Witch and the Changeling? recognized me after such a brief look. Definitely a good hire here, Elfnod. Still, a talking sword? What kind of magic is that? One with more story to the little explanation available than actual explanation. Huh? I mean, it's not worth bothering to tell. Now, why don't you have me back to Elflod and we get to work, eh? Heck, I can't believe you're not riding a horse. Yes, it is more than a little difficult to keep up without magic. He still has a problem with horses. When I found out you were a Grey Mage, I assumed the whole horse thing was because of that. No, they just hate me. All of them. For no apparent reason. I could always... Tara, please... don't turn into a horse. You can turn into a horse? Yes. How exactly does that work? Does transformation magic not rely on conservation of mass? I conserve mass. I just become considerably less dense. So you're like an inflatable horse. Uh, yes. I suppose so. I wish I had access to chaos magic. How do you know you don't? I have already spent a session with the kobolds. Light and shadows. I wish I had known it was so easy for them to identify chakra. I wasted a lot of time trying to teach myself. They don't seem eager to offer information unless specifically asked. So, Zachariah, what did they say you were? A sun mage, same as my great niece. You're... Yes, child. 
and I'm learning that much of what I once thought were my own unique talents were simply my access to the fire chakra. It's strange, learning magic once more. It is like reading a mystery novel a second time. You see all the connections that you missed before. It couldn't have been that hard to learn magic again. I mean, it's not like you actually lost your magic. <laughs> Goddess child, do you know what you're saying? I died. You have no idea what that does to a person. Well, technically Prude sort of died. I would argue that she didn't die, as she was lethally injured but never fully passed. Ah, good point. Can we not discuss me getting killed by Zachary when she's here with us? It's hard enough to be relaxed around her as it is. I am sorry for what I did. Under another's control or not, your mother did not deserve the execution she received. I just said I would rather not talk about it. It is not much, but if you would let me, I would like to help with your training. I understand you've been struggling. Are you serious? I've been training with my new heart for months, more than you have even been alive. And your lack of progress is telling. Hank! Did you tell her? I said nothing of the sort. Yeah, but who else would be talking with Zachariah about my training? Please, child. You think your helpless floundering in what you assume is the privacy of your garden is anything resembling impressive? You... When I look at you, I can't help but see her. There, there. I miss her too. You have nice friends. They're your friends too, you know. <laughs> Tara. I think that's enough emotional growth for our group today. to the goddess, should you wake me up with another frightened yelp, I will throw you out the window. Shut up! You heard what the cobalt said! No. I heard what you told me they said. What I want to know is why you don't think it's me. Goddess Belinda, I am me. Uh, huh. Probably you should have asked the kobolds. Fine, so we need to catch this doppelganger. How do the kobolds know there even is one? Uh, huh. Probably you should have asked the kobolds. Hmm. <laughs> Oh, here! Well, I need breakfast before that. Breakfast? Isn't it a little... Ha! They're up! 
cards in front of their door. That's funny. since before sunrise. Uh, what? Don't you sleep? Nope. <laughs> Wait, really? I'm teaching him fix Mistress Radish. Huh, a sinful game. They're playing for cookies. And I'm losing. Those were supposed to be my treat for the day. I am counting the cards. Why exactly would counting cards help you win again? Well, you see... Ah, Croc, stop cheating and give the girl her cookies. Belinda, are you hungry? I was hoping I could bring you to breakfast and ask you something. Starving, actually. In that case, I will go with you. I wanted to talk to you as well. I would appreciate it, friend, if you were to let me talk to the lady alone. Yeah, I'd be there too. You can't stop me from getting breakfast. I, for one, have no qualms with our discussion being less than private. I am not afraid to make my feelings known. <laughs> I don't think they're actually listening to me. Belinda, our time the other night was magical, and it is something I desperately would wish to repeat. Night? They went stargazing. No mating, though. Oh, good. Belinda, if you would do me the kindness of another date... What, another picnic in the gardens she trains in every other day? Real romantic. Better than making her work out on her date. Ah. Uh. <laughs> if you think she would like something like that, then it's no wonder she turned you down. At least I don't dress like a soldier from the army of Candyland. At least I wear my uniform. Guessing Ogland is angry because he was going to ask Belinda out. Right? Again? He was going to ask her out again? Seriously? It is terribly unfortunate you do not have more time, Thaumaturge. You have perhaps one free night in the next month of your training. Just one free night? Yes, your training schedule is extensive, Thaumaturge. You will be free tonight. Belinda, please, if you have tonight, I... If you have only one night free, I want to spend more time with you. Just you and I. I... I... I, I couldn't say it better myself. I really enjoyed our time together the other night. Just talking. Just you and me and... I think you're very pretty. You're usually better with the flowery language. It's hard to... you know. Yeah, I do. Sorry about the insults. Me too. Unfortunately, making our peace still doesn't alleviate her decision. I... I don't think I could handle a third wheel scenario. <sighs> Belinda, pick one of them and be done with it. This is ridiculous. Was 
was bound to happen. Though I'm kind of annoyed that Oglin decided to ask again when she said no the first time. I'm gonna go put a coal on and put, get myself a jacket because it's cold in my apartment. By the sounds of that, it sounds like you pretty much have already made your mind up. <laughs> I personally feel like he should- Oglin should have respected her opinions the first round. But... I don't know. It's hard to decide. But is Oglin really someone, like, personality-wise? Which one fits her better? This is the first time me and you haven't really agreed. I just saved it. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna go choose Ogland. And then depending on how that whole thing goes, we'll go back to whatever. <sighs> Belinda, so we can always go back to our decision. This is ridiculous. Or we just decide, eh, never mind. Yeah, I mean, I feel like eventually she's gonna have to pick. And I've always been the one that your gut instinct is always the one that you should pick first. But, I don't know.
Let's just see what happens with our one. I would love to spend more time with you, Auckland. See, I just don't like this whole thing of her going both sides. Like, she has three suitors. She has to pick one. So I got on a date with Priamus. And she's not interested in girls. So it's just one of those things where it's kind of like, ugh. You can't keep going back and forth. And you can tell she definitely is oogly-eyed more with Priamus. Like, that's the thing, is she's more googly-eyed with Priamus than she is with Ogland. But yes, Ogland is more of the safe bet. Uh... Okay. So... Pick one of them and be done with it. This is ridiculous. So that's weird. Primus had fear in his eyes when she didn't pick him, but now she's seeing a weird, odd look in Oglin's face. Well, no, it's not the same reactions. Like, one was fear, and then one was an odd look that seemed... Uh, it seemed more simple than disappointment. So, I mean, like, it's... I don't know. Ah! Let's... Uh. We still have it saved, so we can go through this, and if it's not something we like, we can always go back. Deal? Or I can switch it to Ogland and we do that and then we go back to Primus. I mean, it's the only way that we could really see how things go and we could just wait till the end of the date night with one of them and then go back. It seems like it, but Sword doesn't even know for sure. So how about we do this? We'll go through the date night with him, Primus, and then we'll go through it with Ogland and then depending on which one after that point, that's the one we'll continue the story with. That's the best way to kind of have best of both worlds. No backsies. Okay. I would love to spend another night with you, Priamos. In the sense of time together. Another date. Not that I'm professing feelings for you or something stupid. Just more time is nice. Ah, uh, okay, buddy. We're in this for the long haul. Hopefully, we didn't pick wrong. Wonderful. Or I didn't pick wrong. If anything, at the end of the story, if you want to know more about Ogland, I can always go through the date with him, and we can see what he was like. For now. I will let you return to your training. Tonight? Tonight. I suppose I should get the training. Oh, you butthead. Yes, it's my choice, so... Mmm. Mean. Let's hope I didn't screw up.
Please don't bow like that. If you want to become one with me, you should know that no part of me would ever bow. My apologies. <sighs> we have work to do. Of course. Your lessons. <laughs> that would be funny. What? No! That's not work. That's just... passing the time. We have an absolute need to capture the Grey Mage. Before any else. I would think that the monster is an enormous concern on its own. Not accounting for who captures it. <sighs> Your lack of foresight disappoints me, LaRue. Please, don't tell me you plan to do something ridiculous in order to ensure you are the one to capture the monster. Especially were you to do so for the sole purpose of your reputation. What? No! Well, yes. How can you read me so easily? Yeah, I should have figured as much. I get it. I get it. If you're about to try to convince me to kill you so that... I am sorry. It's fine. You weren't wrong. Let's get to work. Yeah, I would be annoyed too if that happened. to ask a favor of you. Sure. What's up? Uh, on your date this evening, bring a weapon. What? Like sword? <laughs> if you're willing. But I meant a weapon in the common noun sense. Belinda, this is a request from me for me. This is not on behalf of your teachers or friends. Oh, why are you so worried? I will admit, nothing more than instinct. But it is instinct that made me rich twice over. What? Do you think Priyamos is a chainling? I am afraid I don't know. But I know I would be happier if you had a weapon on hand. So I probably would have said this if she'd gone on a date with the other guy too. I think out of anyone here, I have the best chance against a chainling. Now don't go and underestimate your older brother. <laughs> what are you going to do? Pay the chain link to leave? Or are you going to try to fight them by throwing coins? <laughs> yeah. But in all seriousness, you're not going to try to fight the chain link, are you? I don't want to see you get hurt. Ha! Huh. Do not worry, Uncle Bell. I assure you I can take care of myself. Says the no to the Thomas. Says the Yeti to the girl who's still in training. <laughs> Says the businessman to the warrior mage.
<laughs> fine, fine, I understand. Still, please, take a weapon. Be prepared, be cautious. The mind, mind, if nothing else. Strikers! Given how protective you're being, I'm surprised you're not threatening to come with me. I might have trailed behind you if I could, but the fact of the matter is I have business. Business? <laughs> like what? That's, uh, well, that's a long story. Uh, I'd love to hear it, but I don't think I have much time for croc comes and drags me to key manipulation training. That's, uh, well, that's a long story. Oh, it is! I'm not sure what we're doing or why we're even doing it anymore. You'll figure it out, I'm sure. You're being awfully supportive today. Are you up to something? <sighs> That's fine. I have plenty to worry about on my own. Yes, yeah, such painful concerns such as... What should I wear on my date? Or should I knock socks? Please, it's inevitable. It's only a matter of time before Branavir spawns the next generation of the VG. Sex and reproduction are a part of life. A what? I didn't even know he was courting someone! Let's just say I fully expect a wedding invitation within the year. But, uh, he can't be getting married. I don't think he's ever even dated. Why wouldn't he? I don't know. You never do. I am a uh, special case. My suit has arrived in mining for diamonds or uh, fetishists. You get what you can, right? <laughs> no. I suppose my greatest hope is I'm not really attracted to anyone. Or at least not to any humans I've met. I suppose that's no surprise, given my heritage. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I guess we need to get Mox and Rock to introduce you to my silly girl. Anyway, I have more training. I'll talk to you after the date, okay? It's time to attend to business. Oh my God.